Hello everyone again and welcome to GHK. We're quickly heading off to Vincent Wave. We've got a few more episodes to go. Let's not waste any time. I'm up for some more wrestling. Ow, my thigh. I think I punched it so hard. Anyway, up next is Trevor Schmidt here to give some words. Honestly, I hope he hurries it up, because I'm not here to... This ain't the fucking talking hour. I mean, I guess we can give an exception to Trevor Schmidt, given he's, you know, going to be main event in Vincent Wave. But, you know, I want... But at the same time, I don't really want to be sitting here listening to someone talk. Saying that though, there is a lot to cover here, given the whole rising feud between him and you, but he attacked you like two weeks ago. Yep, to be fair, Hubert's been doing the same thing to pretty much the entire roster. Let's not forget, get old, you know, Ken Dyer got the fucking piss beaten out. Ken was going to be going for the championship. Hubert threw him around like an old sack of shit. Oh, so like obviously, like you know, I think Trevor had a bit of a point there. Oh, don't say that, Trevor. Fuck you. Know, I, I'm so torn when I think about Hugh because obviously cause he's right, but also we 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 fit on the ground for like main event stars, especially when Ken dies getting <laughs> butchered backstage. Butcher than the bladed backstage. It's just. Oh. Uh, so I don't want Huber to turn out to be some mega villain. We can't have an Omni Man situation here. We've got no invincible. Oh. Uh, Ooh, well that is interesting. I mean, Ken's pretty bloody good. I wish we got that match. Uh, no, no disrespect to obviously the great and mighty money, money filled Theodore Cornwall, but he doesn't hold a candle in the ring to Ken Dyer. What? Oh, what? Well, is ain't the Constantine that Trevor was just uh, having a moan about? This is exciting! <laughs> that sentence can mean two different things, and in this case it means both of them! Right, what does he what does this big old oaf have to say about this then? Right, I was a little down on the whole, you know, promo segment. You know, it's like Monday Night Raw after all, but alright, alright, I'm here for it now, I'm here for it. Yeah, he did. Look, Trevor made GHK look pretty bloody good. So did a lot of the other participants in the GHK Regal Rampage match. But I've got to say, Trevor did marvellously. Slip up. Exciting. Come the fuck on here. Look. look. Don't. You're in more denial than I am. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, that, I mean, he's not wrong, but ow. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's, that, oh, I don't like hearing that. That's poor exciting. Just feel bad for him in his monobrow. Oh, bloody hell, it did, in fact, strike a nerve. Exciting, right in Trevor's face. He is not too pleased with this. Oh, this is looking to be quite... I don't know. Uh, it, it's just looking... This is just uncomfortable watching this whole... You, exciting's perception of you that gets shattered. That's actually fair enough. I mean, Theodore seemed to imply this ain't the first time with you, but at least that's what I got from it. And Theodore's known Hubert for fucking ages. But Theodore's older than the son. He might have known Hubert longer than exciting. He might have a better judgment of the character. Nah, 
Now that's actually a very fair question. Trevor, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? Will you accept that you're wrong? Because I don't want Trevor turning bad either. Fuck me, it's so dark and depressing in GHK. We need some beacons of hope. Right, you're yeah, good, good. I'm glad Trevor's at least, what's the word? He's being honest, he's being, I can't think of the exact word, but he's willing to accept if he's wrong. But that, if anything, just shows how more, how, how confident he is that he isn't wrong. Like, he'll apologize if he is, but he is damn certain he won't have to. Oh, exciting, if you are wrong, if you're wrong, I'm actually going to be fucking depressed. Because <laughs> this is the saddest thing I think I've ever seen. This is a family imploding in on itself. Oh, I feel bad for him and Kevin, to be honest. Oh. That is a smoking gun if there ever was one. Oh, this is the, this is honestly the most depressing reality GHK has ever had to face. The most depressing one since the great incident of of 2003. Oh, he's less said about that, fucking better. But exciting, off on his way to his investigation. Guess we'll find out. It well. If you but innocent or not. Honestly though, I don't have me hopes up anymore. But while Exxon gets off on his investigation, we're gonna have our first match of the night. It's a TV championship match. Leading Wade Cutler versus Mad Boar. <sighs> I need to cheer myself up after that. That was really depressing. <laughs> And here we, you know, with a TV title match, this is really going to get things going. Mad Boar and our, one of our new signees to GHK, Bleeding Way Gutler. And the Bleeding Way Gutler, don't know much about him just yet, but I imagine this match will be a great introduction. Definitely looks mean. He looks like someone who could become TV champion. And I didn't think I could ever see someone scale more than Ace, but I mean, there's definitely a runner-up. <laughs> someone gunning for his position, bugger me. At this rate, we're gonna eventually have someone debut, who's gonna be like, in a, who's gonna have his fucking face touching the ground for how much he's scowling. Bleeding Wade Gutler being really slow coming to the ring, but I think I think he's been very... If I had to guess, I think he's one of those people who is slow but deliberate. You know, he's not here to look amazing. He's not here to be the person who gets those Dave Meltzer five-star matches. He's here to just clock you, leave you out, pin you, walk away winner. It's going to be as simple as that. I don't think there's going to be any fancy moments. And Mad Ball's going to have to be very aware of that. I mean... Mad Ball, very capable wrestler. Been good in VGRW, OW, you know, OWL and GHK. So I think he's going to be able to at least stand toe to toe with Wade here. But going to have to keep his eyes open because this will be it. This is Wade's GHK debut. And Mad Ball might not know quite what to expect just yet. Oh man, that TV title, the crappiest looking belt I've ever seen, but fuck me if they don't compete for it like it's the world title sometimes. Here we go, I am ready for this one. Come on lads, give us a match to be proud of. You see there, way Cutler. Someone tells me he is stacked under all that. Like, if he ripped his shirt off, 
I feel like there's probably like a fucking eight pack. Man, boy, I don't know. I, I somehow don't think he's holding an eight pack under that. But uh, to be honest, he's one of those people who doesn't need one, so I'm not gonna rag on him too much there. Plus, his accolades speak for themselves. <laughs> anyway, there you see. Why are you not even looking at the belt? That's just a fucking knowing nod as if he's certain he's going to win this. That hubris might be his downfall, but at the same time, I always like a little bit of confidence in our wrestlers. You don't want someone who, who thinks, oh, I've got no chance. <laughs> oh. you know, don't nick silver it up. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Mad boar. Kicking the shit out of way in this match. This ain't a great debut for you, pal. Bloody hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, but Way's right back up. Oh, here we go. Choking the STO. Daniel Hagen. 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 Oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh, this match gone right to two miles an hour. But Way, come on. Oh. That was a nice stomp, at least. Every time Mad Boy tries to get up, he's being stomped back down! And he keeps trying to get back up, and Way keeps stomping him! Fucking hell, Way! Way! Is that your fucking murder? Stop stomping him! Fucking hell! Mad Boy just barely rolled out of the way! Oh my god! Oh, Mad Boy deflects and Kobe with some fucking massive punches. I could hear them soul leaving Way's body with those punches. Oh, that was a lovely big boot. Didn't knock Mad Boy over, but sent him into the corner. That'll knock him down. And you can see him clutching his chest. Whatever Way's doing, like all the, you know. I don't know how much damage Way's doing, but he's clearly doing a lot if Mad Boy is into the pain he's in. Look at him! He's writhing around! Oh, fucking hell. Kicked in the face. And there, oh, Mad Boy, right back up. Now, Mad Boy looking for a weapon, but Way is right back up. Mad Boy, you gotta find something in fast. Oh, fuck's sake, what's it with the fucking tables and ladders? You don't have the time to set those things up. Why? What are you thinking? Oh, I mean, I guess it worked out in the end, but just not in the way you intended. Oh, now look at this. Bringing, bringing way over to the steps, but oh, Wayne's not letting that happen. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh no, what's he doing? Oh, Irish whip was bleeding gums. Murphy makes his way over to Mad Ball. Oh, look at this. Another choking STO. Oh, that is just pure, a sign of domination right there. Look at that. Oh, but look at that man. Balls right back up. Now, no can outs, of course, in GHK, so they're just beating the ever loving shit out of each other for the fun of it. Mad Wolf brings up the table. Is he going to do anything with it? No. <laughs> Bloody hell! What a punch! That was insane! That was insane! Oh, my word. Oh! That was the most athletic thing I think I've seen Mad Boy do. Unfortunately, it didn't do anything. Way making his way back into the ring, and so far he's been handling this like a pro. Irish whip into that corner. Oh, nice work there. Such a simple offense, but it's clearly effective. Hey, okay, never mind. I'll just take that back. The simple part. That's it. One, two. Oh my God, Mad Ball. 
Somehow still hanging on. Oh, I was talking about accolades earlier. Oh, oh, that's got a particular talk to it. He is getting... He's going to bend him in half. Oh, Mad Ball making a quick escape. And I can't blame him for getting out as quickly as he could. That was looking nasty. Oh, bloody hell. Mad Ball can't get a look in. He has been beaten from pillar to post this entire night. Oh, nice punch there, staggering Wade Gutler. Oh, but Wade now fighting back. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, look at these big snap suplex. Onto that, onto that, that padded concrete floor. Oh, look at this. Oh no, bring him to the step. Will he be successful this time? Oh, cool, blimey! Sounded like a shotgun went off. Oh, fuck off, Voke in the audience. You're not going to be anyone's chat. Oh my god! Right in the fucking back of the net, in knuckle! Fucking hell, was that four times in the knuckle? The back of the head! And Wayne's still not dead! Well, he might be, I don't know. Oh, my word. Going for the pin now. I think it's over. One, two. How? How is he not out? Is he made of adamantium or something? Oh, this is going to do it. Oh, it's one that board matches before. Oh, you are taking the mickey. Wayne now looking under the ring for a weapon of his own. Oh, this is... Oh, give it a rest, you two. You're not going to set that up in time. You're kidding yourself if you think otherwise. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, my God. Here we go. The big... The big bazooka, oh, bazooka, the mad gore. And that's going to do it. Surely that's going to do it. One, two, three. There we go. But bloody hell, mad poor dude. Obviously the winner, but Wade Cutler. Looking amazing in defeat. He was seemingly unstoppable. What a debut. Like, if you can look good in defeat, that can sometimes be better than just a win. That was incredible. You know, you don't have those overblown expectations of, oh, he won his debut. He's clearly got a main event right away. You know, no one's expecting him to main event. He'll probably be a good mid-carder. But the fact that he did as well as he did, that means that he's also, there's also that expectation that he's going to kick ass. So honestly, wait. Well done. But anyway, Mad Ball standing victorious as ever, doing exceptionally well. He's flourishing in GHK. Honestly, big kudos to him. He, like Way, is doing amazingly at the moment. Wait a minute, backstage. Hold on a moment. What? Who the fuck's that? Oh my word, what the fuck? Oh my god! Is that, is that cute? No, oh, come on, give it a rest, give it a rest. Oh, my word. Oh, look at the fucking TV. That's Hubert, that's the lowest I've ever seen. Oh, God, please don't be Hubert. Anyway, we're moving on to the main event, hardcore title match. Isaac Kinley is taking on Curtis Burton. Oh, I really hope that's not Hubert, but I'm getting the feeling, exciting, getting, t I'm, it, I'm getting the, the sinking feeling, exciting was getting too close to the truth, if I'm being quite honest. I really hope that's not the case, but, oh, and as if it couldn't get even worse, here comes 
the most messed up guy in a group of messed up, in a world of messed up guys. Here comes in perfect Isaac Kinley. But, from what I can tell, he's not coming out alone. There's, uh, okay, so on the left there's a new bloke, Menace. And on the right, is that, is that Chosen One? Fucking hell, mate, you've got a pack, haven't you? I'm calling myself the Blood Pack, I guess, but... Now, Menace, brand new to GHK, not much to say about him just yet, but I imagine he'll make his presence very well known to us. And then you've got the Chosen One, former hardcore champion, former Intercontinental champion, someone who's got the... You know, he's got the accolades to prove that he's... You know, he's got the... He's got... He, he is a... He is a talent. He was a big signing to GHK. And now he's working for Isaac. That is worrying. If Isaac Kinley has managed to get chosen one, and I'm assuming Menace is on that level as well, that is going to bring Isaac from someone who was already a dangerous individual into potentially one of the most dangerous on the roster. There's power in numbers, and fuck me, do these numbers look powerful. It's weird to think Isaac's the smallest out of the three of them. <laughs> I only just realised that now. I mean, there's no prizes for guessing who's the biggest of the three. And it's completely stock still. Chosen one. Th throwing himself around. I think Isaac's been in his ear. I guess we'll find out more in the future, but... Because I'm curious how he managed to get that group together. Anyway, now here comes the hardcore champion. There's Curtis Burton. Curtis Burton, your hardcore champion. Now, if Curtis can keep a hold of this, he's got himself an amazing ticket. He can get them VGRW paychecks for a bit. He could live a very nice life for a bit. But like, honestly, he needs to keep a hold of that. Because GHK pays fucking peanuts. If he can get to VGIW, I mean, he'll he'd be he'd, he'd be eating good for a bit. And given that he was able to beat Ace the Tank Barky, like I'm a little concerned for him, obviously, because there's Chosen One and Menace. But it's not to say that this is a one-sided bout at all. Like he's beaten Ace, he's clearly proven that he can hang with the big boys. Being a big boy, he's easily one of the biggest we've got on the roster. Oh. Now, that was a very nice close-up of <laughs> men. It's not so much of chosen one, but there we are. Here we go, hardcore championship match for our main event. See Isaac Kinley staring a hole in Curtis Burton. I am honestly fucking shitting myself. Oh, look at that. He is ready for Curtis Burton here. And oh, Curtis looks ready for Isaac. I think Curtis, you can see it in his eyes. He knows that this ain't going to be easy. Isaac has been a multi-time hardcore champion, or at least he's won it once or twice. And he's dangerous in that ring. I don't know if these two have ever clashed before, so Curtis... Likely trying to think of a game plan heading into this. And in the title over to the referee. And the referee now presenting it to Isaac Kinley. Showing what he's fighting for. Honestly, that is a bloody nice looking belt. Must be said. Here we go. Isaac Kinley, Curtis Burton. And the match begins. Isaac rushing out. Curtis barely catches him off. Oh, dodging the big boot there. Oh, but not dodging that close on you. See, Curtis racing right out of the gate here to try and deal with Isaac. Isaac getting right back up, though. Oh, that was a hell of a slap. It smacked like hell. Oh, but Curtis dominating Isaac Kinley at the moment. 
physical domination. If there's one thing Isaac does not have in GHK, he does not have that physical presence. It's a, it's sadistic nature which has got him this far, but as we've seen in his match with Hubert Constantine, he's not in a great situation. He can get one over on him physically. He also had some troubles when he fought the chosen one, though he did end up winning that. But right now he's struggling with Curtis. You see that chosen one speaking of the devil, pacing about. Menace keeping his eyes locked on this. Thank fuck for that, no more missionary chin lock. Oh my god! Oh, what a power slam! Kick to the back, stomp on the face. Oh, Isaac. Oh, oh, that was nasty. Going for the pin now. One, only a one count. Isaac basically made that a scar tissue. You can absorb all pain and punishment. But at the same time, how much can he absorb? Because he's not invincible. Eventually, he's going to crumble. Oh. And now, Isaac Kinley looking to try and come back here. Whoa. Oh. Kick out there, and that wasn't even a one count. Oh, Isaac though starting to finally get some offense in. Taking Curtis side of the ring. Oh, what is he doing here? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh top rope, and now choking him. He's choking him. Oh no, give it a rest. Oh, that is nasty right there. Oh no, Curtis Burton being taken to the ground by Isaac Kinley. With those palm strikes and into an arm bar. Bloody hell, Isaac, you're, you're working hard. Oh, but Curtis. I mean, Isaac doesn't do arm bars very often, so I can't imagine it was the best arm bar in the world, but still, I was just impressed it happened. Lovely Samoan drop right there. That's quite a drop. Curtis Burton. Very much in the mid to late six foot range. Oh, nice headbutt, but don't take Curse off his feet. Oh, this will though. Oh, no, it didn't. But bloody hell, though, he is absolutely out of it. We have to shake the cobwebs out. Oh, wow. What a hurricane runner. That was beautiful. That was a thing of beauty from such an ugly creature. Oh, all right, back to regular Isaac Kinley with that eye rake. Oh. No, oh, give it a break. Don't bite his forehead. You big old arsehole. Oh, all that weight, those broad shoulders dropping onto Isaac Kinley. Isaac now trying to get back into this. Oh, wait a minute, Isaac, where for the clothesline? Oh, Curtis Burton. Flagging Isaac Kinley. My God. This here what you call domination. Oh, my God. Here we go now. In for one, two. Oh. Come on. Isaac Kinley being brought back to his feet. Surely this is the beginning of the end for, for Isaac Kinley, or at least one of them. Wait, what's he doing? Oh my God, Curtis, who are you proving this to? No one expected a, no one expected you to have a five-star Dave Meltzer work rate. You can chill out a bit. Oh, Curtis, though, looking to put it away once and for all. Oh, that was the crispest old-school pile driver I have seen in a long time. And then giving Isaac a running head, but a bit of a taste of his own medicine. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, oh, oh. oh Isaac, your comeback got cut off there. Curtis, doing amazingly. Two. Oh, Isaac's still in this, though. Curtis 
shocked. I'm a little shocked myself, but here we go. Curtis Burton gonna put it away here with that big choke slam. And that's it. That is it. Here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, get fucked. Oh, Isaac was about to be beaten for sure. The chosen one bought Isaac some time. If this turns the tide. Ah. Oh. Curtis nearly had Isaac's number right there. Could still have Isaac's number, but it's going to be a bit more of an uphill battle. Oh, wait a minute. Go. Oh. Bloody hell. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. What is he doing? Oh, my God. A moonsault. No way. One. Two. Three. What was it with Isaac and Cho? When what Isaac and Curtis? They were fucking working like they were trying to impress old Dave Meltzer. That was incredible. Oh, fuck off. No, Adam Cole ain't on the GHK roster. Oh, not you two. Just enjoy the match, fans. It's so impossible to please. Honestly, though, I feel bad for Curtis. You knew Menace and Chosen One were gonna get, gonna stick their noses in. And it turned out Chosen One saved Isaac's bacon. Oh no, oh no, they're in the ring and oh, I wasn't even real, I was busy looking at the replays. Oh, come on, no, don't do this. No, oh, oh, that could break, that could break something in the legs, look at that. Curtis trying to fight back here. Man, he's bringing Curtis to his feet. Oh no. Oh, come on, what? did you hear that cock kick? Oh my word. Curtis, I hope you can still have kids, mate. He's fighting back against Menace, the chosen one making his way over. Oh no, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good at all. Oh no. Oh no, what is this? Oh my god! That's a new move. Oh god. Oh, it's oh, it, Curtis. Oh, as if it couldn't get worse for you, mate. Oh, you keep trying to... Oh, give it a rest. Oh, that is... That is just mean. That's just plain mean. Good Lord. Curtis Burton losing the hardcore title after one of the biggest wins of his career. Loses it because of... You know, because of Isaac's new cronies getting in the way. Could have won otherwise. He could have still been our champ. And then gets beaten the shit out of afterwards. If Trevor ends up becoming our Batman, he's got a lot of work to do over this fucking Arkham Asylum. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell to be notified of future uploads. And leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of the episode. And we'll see you next time.